Aid over legalizing marijuana in Wisconsin is firing up again. Frankly, the most dangerous thing about marijuana in Wisconsin currently is that it is illegal. Senator Melissa Agard of Madison has led the push for legalization for years, and she supports Governor Tony Evers' plan to include it in his state budget proposal, saying it would mean a windfall for Wisconsin. We're looking at probably $165 million per year in revenue, additionally billions of dollars of economic stimulus. A Marquette poll in 2019 showed 59 percent of Wisconsinites support full legalization, but it ran up against strong opposition from Republican lawmakers. I will never support recreational marijuana. And passage may be as difficult this time around. I'd be opposed to the recreational use of marijuana, and I think this isn't about how to generate additional revenues. This should be about the public welfare. But UWM government affairs professor Mordecai Lee says the millions of tax dollars going to neighboring states that have legalized marijuana will eventually force the issue. I say it's inevitable that recreational is going to be approved. The border argument and the loss of tax dollars is just too overwhelming to ignore. But Lee says there's a catch. One of the biggest obstacles to passage, he says, may be the timing of this plan. The budget plan Evers will send to the Republican legislature will be the final one before the next gubernatorial election. They wouldn't want to give him a win. And I think recreational marijuana would be a huge win. In Milwaukee, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. And 12 News reached out to leaders of both parties about the legalization proposal. We were told that Governor Evers, as well as Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, and Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahieu were all unavailable for interviews today. Marijuana is legal in 15 states and the District of Columbia for adult use. Those areas are marked in green. Meanwhile, a total of 36 states have approved medical marijuana. Those are in blue.